I'll do it five, a beach blitz. Homeless people living on the beach in Atlantic City getting the boot, but where will they go? Thank you for joining us here on NBC 10 News at 5. I'm Jim Rosenfield. I'm Tracy Davidson. Thanks for being here. Atlantic City attracts tens of millions of tourists every year, but like many other urban areas, the Seaside Resort has a problem with experiencing homelessness, people there. NBC 10 Jersey Shore Bureau reporter Ted Greenberg was the only TV reporter there today when the city tore down a homeless encampment just off the boardwalk. With a floor of sand, it's a site of Atlantic City hidden from view. How long have you been under here? A year and a half. Living under the pier for a year and a half? Yes. But today, Bill Butler and dozens of others had to leave this cavernous homeless encampment under the playground pier just off the boardwalk by Caesars. I knew it was coming. It's their business. I mean, they have to do what they got to do to make this town look better. Launcher's a big slope. We went under the pier with outreach workers from Volunteers of America, Delaware Valley, here to help those willing to receive assistance. We've been here for two years and just to move within a couple days is very gut-wrenching. It's just not safe conditions in there. A city spokesman says the encampment was discovered last week and residents were told they had to be out by today. He says it appears people gained access through fencing that had been cut. The encampment shutdown came as crews continued setting up for next weekend's Fish Beach concerts. The stage directly in front of the pier. But officials say the timing of the sweep is not connected. It just so happens that this is right before the beach concert. Uh, had this been found two weeks ago, they would have been out two weeks ago. We're going to also be working to make sure uh, people don't come right back. Outreach officials say as of Wednesday, an estimated 40 to 50 people were living here. They say between then and now, roughly 15 people left the encampment to receive services. One of the main issues that we have in Atlantic City is the lack of services rich interim housing. 24 seven services to individuals that are homeless, at risk of homelessness and struggling. The majority of them are gonna say they don't want help and they're just gonna wind up somewhere else under another pier under or in a pavilion or under a pavilion. That's just the way it is right now. But Bill Butler says assistance is what he wants. I'm tired of it, I'm sick of it. Sick of it and I want help and I want I want to just go back home. Ted Greenberg, NBC Thanks. 10 News.